um, and then I had this car accident at five years old where uh, I, I ran in front of a van and uh, I should never have survived it. It crushed my hip and fractured my skull and put me in a body cast, put me in the hospital for over a month and put me in a body cast for over three months and had all this stuff happen to me and all these corticosteroids and all this crazy stuff. And this is yet again in the seventies when, you know, rehab was sort of, a, well, it really wasn't anything at all. <laughs> well, they cut me out of this cast and I woke up as a fat kid <laughs> at a time when nobody was talking about bullying and people were, you know, and so the first thing in the world out of, out of a lot of kids mouth is that kind of thing. It's that kind of, mm. you know, that kind of stuff. And I'm at the time not prepared necessarily to deal with that no more than any kid is no more than any kid is is ready to you know to deal with that kind of mental situation and, and almost every woman on this planet struggles with body image issues whether she's the thinnest woman you know or the most perfect mm -hmm. looking woman you know or the biggest woman you know and people feel ridiculously free to say incredibly ugly things to them and do this mm. massive amount of damage that they have no idea. And they walk away from it like they never did a thing in the world to somebody. And those people walk around carrying issues for lifetimes off sometimes. Mm. And I don't believe that you're a complete human being or that you're a, just because you look a certain way does not make you a certain way. Mm -hmm. Simply, uh, uh, and the flip side of that is true. If you're what people would term as classically beautiful you may not be the nicest person that ever walked the planet exactly. either yeah and i do think that it, the, the stronger you are the more responsible you are to be gentle most of the time mm. um, yeah and and to to create that message okay to create like there is literally no reason most of us should not just be relatively gentle with each other basically all the time yeah that yeah. is by far the hardest thing that has ever happened in remotely in our lives, my life, period. By a thousand percent, there is no comparison. And perspective change is beyond comprehension on what matters and what doesn't after something like that happened. Uh, like maybe maybe five, six o'clock that night, they, they told us, okay, we've got everything set. We've scheduled the surgery for two o'clock. You know what's gonna happen. Hmm. And when we left that hospital room, there were 50 people standing in a line, 50 police officers, 50 military veterans who came and stood in an honor guard on both sides of the hallway while they walked him out. I don't think you should be married to each other if you won't do anything for each other, if you won't bend over backwards to help each other, if you won't do... I have friends now who I've listened to their live story about their marriages or their marriages coming apart. And because the man didn't love her, he's not, you don't love her if you're not willing to do anything for her. You just don't. That's just the truth. That's the hard way to look at it, but that's the truth. And we'll do absolutely.